Hello, I'm Sam Flynn, and today I'm going to share with you five reasons to send somebody a direct message on social media. So, direct messages have got a little bit of a bad reputation for being spammy, especially on LinkedIn. We've all had that DM come through when we've just connected with someone, we've accepted their connection request, and near enough straight away we get the sell. Hi Sam, let me introduce you to my business. We do da 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 da. Or you get those leading questions like, Hi Sam, just wondered, are you generating enough leads in your business? And you just know what's coming next if you answer that question. So a lot of the time you just ignore and move on. Um, and as a result, I think it puts us off sending direct messages ourselves. But actually, Direct messages is where the power is. When you get one-to-one -one with someone, when you have that one-to-one -one conversation and you have, you know, it's just the two of you, it's not one-to-many like a post is, when you have the one-to-one -one conversation, the relationship builds much, much quicker. Um, almost crazy how much quicker it is than just pushing out content. So the that's one great thing about them. The other great thing is that you can put out all the content you want, but sometimes the algorithms can go against you and not show people, certain people, your content. So by direct messaging them, they're definitely going to see and hear from you. You can't assume that they're gonna absorb all of your content because it's highly unlikely that they are. So you are much, much more visible to them if you get in their inbox than if you're just sharing content. And then finally, on most platforms, if you have a direct message interaction, then that person's actually more likely to see your feed posts because that platform will see, ah, Sam and person X have been talking to each other in direct messages, therefore we'll show person X Sam's post. So there is huge power in the direct message, but I think most businesses don't do it because they don't know what to direct message. Why, why should I send a direct message to someone? What reason do I have? So I'm gonna give you five reasons in which you can actually send a direct message to somebody. Number one is when they first follow or connect with you. And with this, you don't want to do that thing I talked about earlier where you're doing the instant sell. It's a very simple hello. And you can word it in whatever way you want. Obviously, it's got to sound like it comes from you. But mine would usually say, um, let's come up with a random name. We'll go with Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Great to be connected here on LinkedIn. Um, looking forward to seeing some of your posts and... If you do ever have any questions about social media, I'm always happy to answer them. Hope you're having a good day. Speak soon, Sam. And that's it. There's no leading questions. There's no, nothing that's going to make Sarah think, oh God, here we go again. I have kind of done a nice little intro to what I do in that, you know, I've said, if you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them which is just nice and friendly, but a nice sort of intro to what I do as well. You could also add in your website underneath your name, almost like a signature. So it's, you know, it's somewhere that they can go to. Um, so you could do that where you put your website underneath your name and it almost just looks like an email signature then. So it's the opportunity for them to click through and look at your website. But that's as simple as it needs to be. Now I do this all the time on LinkedIn and Instagram, and I would say about 80% of people reply they respond and sometimes the conversation gets going and sometimes it's just them saying, thanks Sam, have a great day too. But the important thing is, I have got into their awareness, we've built the relationship up straight away. As soon as we've connected or they've followed me, we've started to build that relationship. Sometimes I also mention something from their profile. There's not always something notable, like it can be a little bit of a I don't know, I mean, I had a message from someone the other day saying, hi, hi Sam, just looked through your profile. I love the recommendation that Laura gave you. <laughs> you know, and it was a bit like, oh, do you? Well, it's just a normal recommendation. It's There was nothing exceptional in it. You're just trying to find something to cling on to. Whereas, for example, I connected with someone the other day who had in his profile that he was a dad of three girls. I'm a mum of three girls. So that gave me something to discuss in that direct message. So have a look at their profile, see if there's something that you could maybe use in there. But if not, just a lovely, simple hello can often lead you very far. In fact, I talked to my Planet Social Media members about doing this and one of them got a client straight away simply from saying hello and the conversation getting started and that person turned into a client. 
Number two is one I find really, really valuable to do um, and a great reason to send someone a direct message and that is to let them know about your lead capture. So your lead capture is say a free download, a free video, a free report, I, for instance, at the moment, have my free 2022 content calendar that's full of content ideas. Um, it could be a webinar that you're promoting. The important thing is it's free. So you're not asking them to become a customer. You're giving them something for free that you think they might be interested in. Um, and the great thing about that is, first of all, it gives you a reason to direct message them with something that's not just to sell. Secondly, it still introduces what you do because I'm sure your free download, your free lead capture, whatever it is, will be related to what you do. Thirdly, it gets them on your email list as well. So it's a really great way of getting those people you're connected to or who are following you on social media onto your email list too, so that you have got somewhere else to market to them. And of course, you don't own your social media activity. So, you know, you definitely want them on your email list. In fact, I will add a link on here now to another video I did, which was all about growing your email list using social media. And I've been doing this a lot with my 2022 content calendar. I've been going through all my LinkedIn connections, sending them a link to it, letting them know what's in it. And I've had so many lovely responses from people going, thanks so much for sharing this. This is amazing. This is brilliant. All really positive. I've not had one negative. I've had the odd person that said, it's not for me, thanks. Or someone else manages my social media, which is fine. But the majority of the response has been really positive and it's really helped me get that content calendar out there. And not just that, on the back of sending direct messages about that content calendar. Um, first of all, I was invited to guest speak on a webinar with a well-known scheduling tool. And secondly, a previous client responded and said, do you think you could do a re-edit of the calendar to include content ideas that are really applicable to our particular organization members? And then could you do four separate training events because they're all over the world, so four different time zones, four separate training events, letting them know how to use the calendar effectively, come up with their own content ideas, etc. So that's a big, big project a good chunk bit of work that I got simply by sending that direct message. So you never know what power is going to come from it. Number three is sending them a direct message on the back of seeing their post or their story. Now on Instagram, for example, it's really easy to reply to someone's story via direct message. So it's a great reason to direct message them because you're responding to something that they've put out there. And that is how you do it. You know, there's the opportunity at the bottom to send them a message based on that particular story. So it's a really nice way to get into their um, direct message inbox to have that interaction with them that is one-to-one. -one. Um, you could ask them questions around it, you could keep the conversation going. So that's a really nice way to interact based on their story. Um, the second thing is from their post. So you can go and comment on their post, but you might also want to send them a direct message and say, you know, your, your post today really got me thinking about such and such. I just wanted to share this with you. And some, sometimes people like seeing that in their direct messages. Um, obviously you can't do this with every post because it, you know, if the post is something really generic that you can hardly pull anything from, you can't just send them a direct message saying, great post today. Um, but if it's something that you've found really inspiring or maybe you've got some personal advice for them and you don't want maybe to comment that publicly. I've had that quite a few times actually where people have said, I didn't want to put this out publicly but I'm happy to kind of send you a direct message about it. Then that's a really nice way to send someone a direct message too. Number four is to direct them to your post or article or content. So if you have created a piece of content and it's applicable to a certain category of of people, then it's a really good idea to send a direct message to that category and let them know about it. Let's say, for example, I created a video that was all about using social media for accountants. Then it would be obviously a great thing to do to then go and send those accountants a direct message and say, hey, I've just uploaded a video on YouTube that's gonna be really useful for you. So I thought I'd just let you know about it. Now, again, you don't wanna be doing this with every kind of piece of content you put out, but if there is certain categories that you think, oh my God, this would be so useful for people in X industry or this type of job role or these type of people, then go and find them and send them a direct message and put it in front of them. Now, not only is that gonna give you that direct message conversation, um, and again, they're gonna be really grateful that you put it in front of them, but it's highly likely they'll go and look at your post and then comment on, it, comment on it and interact with it. So it's gonna increase the engagement for your post as well. 
And then finally, number five is sending them an offer. Now, yes, we are talking selling in direct messages, um, but there is ways to do it that aren't spammy. Now, if you are just connected to someone or someone's just followed you and you immediately jump down their inbox with a sell, let me tell you all about what we do, that's really spammy. However, if you have an offer that you think is really going to help them out and is really applicable to them and something that they should be aware of, then really you're doing them a disservice if you don't let them know about that offer. And I think the important thing here is that it's an offer. So there's a reason for them to take action now, as opposed to just saying, hey, let me introduce what we do because I think it'd be useful for you. Um, you know, actually saying, I've got this masterclass coming up and I think it's really gonna help you do X, Y, Z. Um, and so I just wanted to let you know about it. Here's the details, here's the link to book. If it's not for you, no problem at all. Or if you do know of anyone that you think could benefit from this, please do pass on the details to them. Let me know if you've got any questions. Really relaxed. I do this a lot with things like masterclasses um, in particular, um, or when I've launched new things, like when I wrote my book, I sent loads of messages about my book. Um, I've done it for things like Planet Social Media, when we've had an offer on for joining Planet Social Media. And, Again, it's a nice reason to send them a message that sells uh, because there's a deadline to it. You know, there's a, I, I wanted to get this in front of you because it ends soon. You need to take action soon. So I didn't want you to miss out. Um, it's all in the wording. Keep it really light and friendly. I've never had anyone come back to me and say, oh, this is so spammy. How dare you sell to me? I've never had any negativity, to be honest. There might be the odd person who's unconnected or unfollowed from me, but they're probably not, never, ever going to buy from me anyway. So that's absolutely fine. Um, but yes, occasionally we can use direct messages to sell and don't be afraid to do so because it is quite a powerful way of actually increasing your sales and getting in front of more of your audience. So to recap then, the five ways in which you can direct message someone are, first of all, to say hello to new followers or connections. Secondly, to promote your lead capture to them and get them signed up to your lead capture. Number three is to comment on something regarding their post or something or a story you've seen from them. Number four is to direct them to your post or article or video or some kind of content that you've put out there. And number five is to sell them your offer and let them know all about your amazing offer. So I hope that's been really useful to you. I've got lots more on selling via DMs on Planet Social Media, as well as lots of other ways to convert your audience into customers. Um, so do check out Planet Social Media, planetsocialmedia.co.uk, where there are over 60 videos, probably more now actually, um, covering lots of different areas of social media. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post a video like this every single week. And so I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.